Fourier transform. Fourier transforms are uh, the exact copies of Laplace transform, but there is a bit difference in it. The Laplace transform starts from zero and goes to infinity, whereas the Fourier transform starts from minus infinity and goes to plus infinity. But we study Fourier series as discrete uh, time series because the uh, not discrete time the discrete frequency series uh, because uh, the frequency components were harmonics of uh, some basic fundamental frequency so we develop the transform from the same thing for a periodic signal the signals in which there is no fundamental frequency so we had two equations the Fourier transform equation had a cn that f of pt is from minus infinity to infinity c n e power j n omega naught t and then c n was calculated as e power minus j n naught t f of t and for a single time period so we had a single time period in it which caused an omega naught to be uh, present in the equation so here we say that the signal is not repeating because it is a periodic signal so what we do we take a s the whole signal and place it between minus t by 2 and plus t by 2 we took the whole signal and placed it between these things and then we said that this thing is repeating again and again so if this thing is repeating again and again it becomes periodic it was a periodic but now it is pure because we have said that the signal is repeating itself but there is another problem the problem is that the signal is aperiodic for the whole time space so what can we do how can we say that this t by 2 and minus t by 2 is the whole time space by calling this t equal to or tends to infinity so if we say that t tends to infinity then we can repeat the thing and say that the signal is periodic but its time period is infinity it repeats itself after infinity okay after that we move this here and get this thing so now t is infinity and cn is anything so if we apply limit of t tends to infinity this makes these two infinity and minus infinity this term is sa said to be the Fourier transform so we had one frequency only one frequency and this frequency was for all the time that is covered by this signal so this frequency is extended from minus infinity to plus infinity so we can say that this if frequency is anything this is 0 this is 1 this is 2 this is 0 0.5 this is anything what why because the cn terms contains all the minus omegas plus omegas everything in it so this is uh, the simplest derivation of Fourier transform that uh, this thing is already in terms of Fourier transform just move this thing here and after that apply a limit of t tends to infinity so this will become infinity and this will become infinity and this will just look like Laplace transform but this thing is not zero it is infinity if it was zero then it will be Laplace transform so this is how we uh, calculate the Fourier transform uh, this is how we derive the Fourier transform now we are left with this equation so let's go to the next slide uh, we are having this uh, equation in this equation we multiply it by t and divide it by t so if you multiply it by t we get this c and t here as well so now we are having the same condition as uh, that of in the previous slide after that 
we say that t is very much uh, large it is infinity so what will happen to the frequency so 2 pi t is omega if t is very much high that means that frequency is very much low sorry this is not uh, this is uh, omega is 2 pi f and omega is 2 pi by t ok so if t is very much large then omega is very much small so we call this thing as del omega so if we write this 1 over t in terms of omega we will get del omega by 2 pi so del omega by 2 pi goes here after that we apply the limit of t tends to infinity so t tends to infinity will make this thing as d o omega and the 2 pi will be shifted in here and this whole thing would become a continuous integral of minus infinity to plus infinity and f of omega so this is our previous equations uh, uh, output if we check this thing minus infinity to plus infinity c and t e power j omega t not e power j omega t this side so we can check this thing in here that this thing is actually our uh, f of omega so f of omega is replaced there is c and t uh, f omega so these are the two transform pairs if you want to convert something to Fourier transform we will take its minus infinity to plus infinity integration and we will multiply e power minus j omega t and if we transform want to transform it back what we will do we will multiply e power j omega with no sign or with no negative sign here it will be a positive and we will divide it by a 2 pi because frequency to time conversion involves a 2 pi so these are the transformation pair ok so what's the usage of a Fourier transform Fourier transform is used to represent a general non periodic function by a continuous superposition or integration of complex components exponential the function is continuous with respect to frequency and is defined for every instant obviously because uh, we calculated it from all the n's in cn so all the frequencies are present in it the uh, Fourier transform can be viewed as a the limit of the Fourier series of function with a period approaches to infinity yes so we discussed it and we derived the equation using this rule so the limits of the integration changes from one period to minus infinity to plus infinity the Fourier series has a limit of t by 2 minus t by 2 and this is infinity minus infinity ok Fourier transform facts uh, these are some facts uh, just like Laplace transform the Fourier transform pair are uh, used for quick conversion in reducing mathematical functions so we have the pairs of these Fourier transform and we do quick conversion as given in uh, this table which is in the next slide so we will go to this but let us go back ok the end result of Fourier transform is an equation that contains a component omega in words Fourier transform IFT converts all the terms to the time domain so it will have a variable t the first one is having variable omega second one will have variable t there is no concept of fundamental frequency and its harmonics for an aperiodic signal so we can put any frequency in it and it will be in terms of omega not omega naught see so this should be kept in mind that if an equation is having only omega this is probably the Fourier transform version and this is not the Fourier series version Fourier series must have n in it n omega naught and the a periodic signal contains frequencies as real numbers uh, frequency is real but a j is with it uh, and may have both rational as well as irrational values so this will make a full real value set 
So this is about the effects of Fourier transform. This is the uh, Fourier transformation pairs uh, for an impulse function. We will get an exponent in frequencies. This is just like the Laplace transform, but just uh, remove the uh, s and write j omega in the place of s. So this is pretty much sure that these tables are already known to you. Uh, there uh, we will use uh, some uh, cos and sine terms in it and some exponent terms so we will discuss it here because these are used in the next example if we are having some cos omega t signal so cos omega t means that the frequency of this signal is omega naught it is a single frequency if we write the exponential form of this thing so e power j omega naught t plus e power minus j omega naught t divided by 2. So if we write the magnitude of uh, these exponent 1 and 1 at an axis of frequency omega, what will we have? This is the axis of frequency. Here we have omega naught and here we have minus omega naught. So this is having 1 magnitude at omega naught and one magnitude at minus omega naught. So this is for cos term. What will happen with sine term? Sine term will have uh, one omega naught e power x minus e power minus x by 2 j. So this thing is same for sine but this thing is inverted because there is a minus with it so minus so if we check this thing in here it is minus and this plus this pi comes when you convert uh, use these uh, Fourier transform equations so you just check there okay let's solve uh, some problem with this Fourier transform so here we are having a simple circuit in this circuit we have a resistance R equal to 10 ohm and an inductance of 1 Henry. So what's the question in this uh, example? Uh, using the Fourier transform technique we wish to determine the V0. So this is all V0 we want to determine this. If the input voltage is 5 E minus 2 T U of T and 5 cos of omega t. So the first one is just like this that it is a 5 e power and minus 2 t and before t equal to 0 there is no signal. So that's why it is a u of t multiplication. So the Fourier uh, transform of this thing just like Laplace transform that 5 e power minus 2 t will have a Laplace transform of 5 divided by s plus 2 so replace this by j omega 5 j omega plus 2 is this thing now what's the output voltage of this circuit so output voltage is the input voltage which is flowing through this uh, the part of input voltage is flowing through this uh, particular uh, part of the circuit so we say that the output voltage V out is V in multiply by 10 divided by 10 plus what is this thing XL you will find this uh, XL later on ok so this is J omega L so 10 divided by 10 plus J omega L this is our transfer function so that's why it is known as H output by input okay so this is output this is input now we put the value of v in in it so we put 5 divided by 2 plus j omega what's the value of xl xl is j omega l and l is 1 so here we can uh, write j omega into 1 so j omega okay now multiply 5 with it in the numerator so this will become 
5 into 10 so 50 and in denominator what will be multiplied 10 plus j omega will be multiplied with 2 plus j omega of this term so we get this thing and this is the combined equation now what we do we apply the inverse Fourier transform on it uh, so just like Laplace transform what will be the inverse Fourier transform this is same thing 6.2550 by 8 but here we are having 1 divided by 2 plus j omega so this is 1 e power this thing is a so minus a minus 2 and t so this is the first thing okay second one is minus 1 so minus 1 into now here a is 10 e power minus 20 and u of t so this is the conversion for signal with u of t why are we writing u of t because in the input it is written u of t that's why we are writing okay the second one is not having any u of t it is a continuous signal that starts from minus infinity and goes to plus infinity but it is periodic so periodic will have two components so using the conversion table we know that 5 cos 2t is actually 5 pi impulse at omega equal to 2 and omega equal to minus 2 so omega equal to 2 will have omega minus 2 impulse and it will have omega plus 2 impulse so omega minus 2 impulse omega plus 2 impulse multiply by 5 pi multiply by 5 so this is our signal now what we do we multiply our same resistance with it our same voltage uh, that voltage divided resistance so after that we got we output as this thing here we are having this thing and here we are multiplying it by 10 so 10 multiplied by 5 is uh, 50 and divided by 10 plus j omega so inverse Fourier transform is taken 1 over 2 pi minus infinity to infinity and of this whole equation that turned out to be uh, j 2t and j minus 2t so these things can be combined I'm talking about this thing 2t and minus 2t so when there is a plus and these things are inverted it makes a cos theta so cos of 2t and there is this thing so this thing is a conjugate again we can calculate the angle of this thing and add it to this thing so it will have a bit other component with it as well but this would be plus this would be minus so this is, can be calculated like this but this is just for uh, good elaboration in normal cases we just let it stay here and we do not calculate these things so this is an example on the uh, four year uh, transform I guess uh, I feel that you would have some uh, idea about it because it is just same as Laplace transform just remove j omega and insert uh, remove s and insert j omega so this is it thank you thanks for uh, attending this lecture All the uh, course materials are available on our site as well as on the MS Team uh, group and SlideShare. So you can download it from any medium uh, that is accessible to you. Thank you.